uh, vamos a hacer ahora unas chinchangas de pollo y vamos a hacer los de las tortillas recién hechas, ok? Vamos a necesitar harina, manteca, uh, sal, sal, cualquier sal que ustedes quieran y agua, que tengo un sacrificio de agua, ok? Vamos a hacer las tortillas primero. Aquí tengo el pollo ya bien deshebrado. Al pollo le voy a echar de este seasoning. Se llama season salt y garlic powder. Ok, so, vamos a comenzar. Uh, vamos a usar... Hi. Ok, vamos a comenzar con esto. Vamos a poner un poquito de manteca, como la mitad de una chiquita o menos. Vamos a usar un poquito de sal. Sal, 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 sal. Well, anyways, no se pudo abrir, so voy a usar esta. Un poquito de sal, unas cucharaditas, como quieran, manteca, sal. Y ahora, y luego le vamos a echar agüita. Ustedes van a calcular el agua. Ok, comienzan a amasar. Se lavan las manos, claro, bien lavaditas. Y le comienzan a mezclar los ingredientes, la sal, la mantequita, el agua. Ándale, así. Bueno, pues, más agüita. Ustedes van calculándole el agua. So, tengan miedo si son primerizas de hacer tortillas. No se preocupen, les va a salir muy sabrosas. Ustedes nomás, así, miren, van sintiendo, van sintiendo... ¿Cómo va quedando? <risa> bueno, amasar la masa. Amasar la masa. Amasarla. Estirarla. Como quiera, nomás amásenla. Tiene que estar bien amasadita, ¿ok? Bien masadita la masa. Así. Uh -huh. Bien masada. Bueno, ya después estar masándola como por unos 10 <risa> minutos. Así. Se queda la masita, mire, así. ¿Ok? Está perfectita. Bien bonita la masita. ¿Ok? Luego, agarras tu sartén y haces bolitas. Así. Nomás un tamaño de... Así que te quepan así en la mano. Una. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. ¿Te acuerdas de la canción de la salina esa? Anyways. Yo voy a hacer como una docena. ¿Ves qué rápido hacer tortillas? No es, es muy fácil. No sé por qué la gente, ay, se me hace tan pesado hacer las tortillas. Hombre, no es pesado. No sale así. Así. Salen las bolitas de harina, ¿eh? <ríe> bolitas de harina. <ríe> Anyways. All right, guys. It takes a little bit of work. It's a little work in the kitchen. But look, see how easy It is to make homemade tortillas. Get back in there. You belong in there. So, I keep going until I'm all done with the flour. Going in circles. So easy. Yep. I love making homemade tortillas. The food tastes so good. Homemade tortillas. Yep. I've been doing tortillas for the longest time. I've always wanted to have my tortilla shop. Circumstances, I can't have it, but I know I need a good team to run a business. Anyways, the last two big bottles. Okay. Okay, now that my tortilla circles are all done, I have my roll here. I'm gonna get flour because without flour, then they're gonna get stick to this and to this. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, and then I'm gonna get started. Seasoning the meat, and then I'll be back to show you guys how I season the meat, okay? Two ingredients, really simple and fast. Wait. Okay, ya tengo el pollo desmenizado. Al pollo le vamos a echar 
tomates que cocí. Tres tomates, three tomatoes. I cooked them, I boiled them, and I took the skin off and I diced them. Okay, you're gonna put three tomatoes in there. I got a green onion, a scallion, whatever you want to call them, and I chopped it off. You're gonna put it in here. It's very simple ingredients, guys. I mean, your family can come from a trip or whatever, and you could make this. It's uh, seasoned salt. Just uh, season it. Throw it in there. Don't be afraid to throw it. Love it, love it, love it. You're throwing it in because you're tasting it. And then the, another ingredient is garlic powder. This is very important. Yeah. Mm, there you go. Then for the last ingredient, it's a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. Then you could use your hands or your spoons, whatever you got there, handy. The hands are the best tools, of course, of course, they always have to be very clean. Yes, there you go. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Look at those colors. Mmm, smells so good already, guys. Okay, guys, here's my chicken. I'm gonna start making the tortillas right now. I'll be right back to show you how to make a tortilla. I'm gonna get my comal ready and all that. And I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be back. I'm gonna make uh, tortillas. Um, that way you guys can see how I make them and then roll the tacos and then I'm gonna fry them as chimichangas. I'll be right back. Be making some rice. We're gonna make some rice. We put a little bit of oil on the on the pan so it don't get stuck. Of course, we're gonna cold try to coat the pan. Oh, don't forget to turn off this on the stove, of course. Well, anyways, I got some tea boiling over here because I like to make fresh tea for my husband and my family. Of course, you're gonna put this and let it get warmed up a little bit. And then you're gonna use. I like to use this. I think it's gonna be about a a full cup of rice, two of these. There you go. Then we are going to saute the rice because we love rice that saute. It just tastes better when it's saute, it browns it and looks prettier. I'm just going to be browning the rice while I do that. I'm going to get my comal out. I have this comal that I love. You can tell it's used because I do use it a lot. I'm gonna let it warm up. I put it on high heat first, and then um, then I lower it down. We're just gonna be sauteing the rice. That's it. Okay, and uh, while the rice is sauteing, I am going to get three tomatoes that I have boiled, and I'm gonna put them in a blender so I could throw them in here for the rice. I'll be back to show you guys exactly how I do it, all right? Thank you. Okay, I have saved the, the liquid from boiling the chicken, the stock, I've saved it, and I'm gonna use it to make the rice because this liquid here, this broth, will make the rice taste really good. I have some tomatoes in there that I put with a little bit of water. I am going to get some garlic and throw it in there. Okay guys, throw it in there. Or first I have to peel it. Okay, we're gonna get the garlic and we are going to put it in here. Garlic always gives food a better flavor. Oops, the wind is blowing the garlic away from me. Get over here. I have water, tomato, and two garlics in here. Two tomatoes that I boiled and that were already pre-boiled, so I'm not gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna use them in the rice. I'm sauteing the rice and I've got the garlic and the tomatoes in there and I'm gonna go blend it. I have water, tomato, and two garlics in here. Two tomatoes that I boiled and that were already pre-boiled, so I'm not gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna use them in the rice. I'm sauteing the rice and I've got the garlic and the tomatoes in there and I'm gonna go blend it. You know, I'm, I'm Okay, now I'm gonna add this tomato sauce in here. Oh yeah, there we go. Then we got the, the, the stock that I had from served earlier. Perfect, then you lower the fire. Now you lower the fire. There you go. Then we're gonna use. Then we're gonna use some bouillon cubes. Let me see here. 
We're gonna use this bouillon cube. Okay, now I'm gonna add this tomato sauce in here. Oh yeah, there we go. Then we got the, the, the stock that I had reserved earlier. Perfect, then you lower the fire. Now you lower the fire. Then we're gonna use, then we're gonna use some bouillon cube. Let me see here. We're gonna use this bouillon cube. Okay, we're gonna use some of this chicken stock to, for the rice, after the tomatoes and everything that's in there. We're gonna put one, about two tablespoons, yep. And then because, so you don't have to put too much of this because sometimes it's a little flavorless. You're going to put a little bit of salt. You're going to put a little bit of salt, about like this much. Okay, a little bit of salt. And that's going to bring off the flavor more. That way you don't have to use too much of this stuff. Because some people put too much and it really tastes, you know, really soft. Well, anyways, we lower the fire. We're going to put a lid on that rice and leave it alone. Do not touch it. Let it go. Let it be. Okay guys, I'll be right back to show you how to make the tortillas. Okay guys, I'm gonna start showing you how to make a tortilla. I already made a few. They're right here, okay? Already made a few homemade tortillas. They're very easy. You get a little circle like this, you start going and pressing it around with this one and this one, you're pushing, you're pushing the middle. You go around like this, then you put it in a little bit of flour, and then you press, you turn, you press, you turn, you press, and the tortilla is going to start expanding itself. Okay, don't push too hard. Let the roller do it. So you just, you go like this to try to see where the mist shape is. Then you go like this. Then you get your little beautiful hands. And you just put, stretch it like this. Then you bring it to the command and you throw it on there. So simple. You grab another one. I already have started on this one. There you go. It's so easy. Okay. Don't get scared if it gets a little press. Turn it this way. You press it. You press the, the edges that you see that are not getting cooked correct. You lower the fire. You put up the fire, whatever. There you go. See how beautiful they're coming? Beautiful tortilla, beautiful. That's right, there you go. This one is done, and this one comes out, and you put in the other one. Another tortilla. Okay, that's how you make them, okay guys? You want me to show you one more? Get the circle, you round it up with your hands, you push in the middle, you go like this, really fast, put it in flour, roll, you go check the one that you're cooking, roll, press, and if it gets stuck, you just go like this, press, press, check this one over here, make sure you touch it like that so it can cook all over, okay, you get the flour, there you go, you stretch it to the size that you want, just don't pull too hard or you'll make holes, nope, alright, here we go, this one is ready as well, Put this one, you put this one, tortilla's ready. Okay, now I'm gonna take a two second break and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm gonna roll the, assemble the burritos and then fry them in a little bit of oil. Then I'll show you how to prepare them and all this and that. I'll be right back, give me a couple of seconds. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more juice, just a little bit. Okay, good, that's enough. And then I, I opened some, a can of corn. I like to put corn in there. And I'm gonna add maybe just a little bit, not a lot. Not to overpower the rice. Okay, I don't want to overpower it. So just add this. You have your tomatoes and your corn. You can leave it alone for another couple of seconds and then we'll turn it off. Got just put the lid on there. There you go. While making my tortillas, press it, press it around the edges. Because they gotta be cooked good. We're done. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. How I'm gonna assemble the burrito. Okay, it's very easy. You get a tortilla. You get uh, a little bit of meat. Okay, 
You, you have to make a burrito. Look at this is fast food, guys. Okay? You make burritos first. Get some chicken. Make some burritos. I've got like four already here, and they're all homemade tortillas. It's not tortillas from the store. I don't like tortillas from the store because these don't taste like tortillas. It tastes like some, I don't know. I'm not going to put nobody down. But anyways, I got my tongs right here. I got four burritos ready to become chimichangas. So I have this pan already preheated. I have it on, 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 on the low, medium to low to medium heat because I don't want my tortillas to burn. I want the chicken inside to just warm up and crisp eyes, you know, just put them in here. And don't put them together too much. Got four chimichangas going. Four at a time is good. You got, I've actually got room for more than four, but right now I'm just going to do four just to show you the picture of how things are going. Over here i got a plate and a paper towel. Okay, that's just to dry the excessive heat. The grease and all that stuff. So just leave them in there, let them be. Don't touch them or anything. Meanwhile, my rice is done. Look at what a beauty. You mix it around. It's got tomatoes and I even put some corn in it. It's delicious. That's gonna be um, the company for the chimichanga of the chicken. Very easy, guys. It's very easy to make. And I didn't use many ingredients, okay? So make it easy. Don't go shopping. Oh, I'm gonna get ingredients for this chimichanga burrito, whatever. Whatever you have, turn it into a chimichanga. Okay, there we go. Ooh, they're looking beautiful. Look at that, guys. Okay, you watch your heat now. Watch your heat, because you don't want them to burn. You have to lower it a little bit. Yep. It's very easy stuff. Then you can make a assemble about a dozen, and then you can have it, you know. I like to do it for parties, because people want food. They don't want, like, oh, a little piece of fruit and a little piece of bread or, you know, things like that. No, they want to eat, so what I do... Let's make a, a bunch of different chimichangas, shredded beef, whatever, um, and just cut little pieces and put them with some kind of any dip that I might have. If I don't have anything, I make something from scratch. But you don't have to go, you know, overboard and and go to the store and spend all this money and stuff like that to just feed people. And for some reason, maybe because it's the love that I put in here, yeah, people love it. So. See, I like to fry the edges too. The little edges. I like to turn them around and fry the edges. Oh, I love to cook. But I've learned, since I have my children, I've learned that it's very hard to go to the store when you have children and car seats and all that other stuff and with all the traffic and stuff. So I just learned to make food from whatever I have at home. And uh, my kids love it. Yep. Well, this one's ready, guys. So. You can uh, fry them as much as you want. You don't have to over fry them or whatever. I just like to. So a homemade tortilla is good enough. Just give it a little crisp. Yep. Oh, yes. And here we go. Here's another one. Beautiful. See how beautiful they're turning out, guys? They are going to be delicious. Usually I put uh, sour cream on here, but I'm going to let those sit for a while. I am going to assemble more and find some more, and then I'll get back to you guys in a little bit, okay? Bye. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Here's the finished product. Look at that. Oh, you don't think any kid's going to run over here and try to eat some of those? I made it for what I had at home. I just had the chicken. <clears throat> I had um, the rice. You know, don't go to the store and break your back getting there. Just make what you have at home. I also found some olives, so I threw them on top. This is just a little sour cream with mayonnaise that I fixed myself really quick. The chimichanga's there, it's got, uh, I got the rice, I put the corn in the rice, and then I put some olives, just for decoration, and of course a little salty taster. And then you could also make a salad, and put it there, and this is the, fin the finished product. Here we go, guys. Doesn't that look yummy? And it didn't cost me a penny, I already had this stuff in the closet. You just gotta be creative with your food and all that. So here we go, I'm gonna taste it. Oh, oh man, I love the crunch. First, I'm going to get a little bit of lettuce, and then this, and here I go. Mmm, 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 mmm. My husband, I love it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
Then the rice. Mmm. 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 Oh man. This food tastes like the restaurant food even better. Because it's healthier. Because it was made at home. It is so good guys. I hope you enjoy this meal and make it at home for your children. I know they're gonna love it. Mine too definitely love it. Look at how fast. Scratch tortillas from the beginning. Everything's from scratch. The burritos, the chicken. Well, of course I didn't raise the chicken and all that stuff, but you guys know what I mean. The rice, the lettuce, the tortillas homemade. It is just so delicious, guys. You guys are gonna really love this. And it is just simple to make, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I bet you anything, um, you invite somebody and they'll love they want to take some home and Tupperware because that's what happens to me. People love to come to my house and bring their Tupperware because they love to go home with homemade food. Nobody really makes homemade food anymore. Everything's from the restaurants or from a deli or something. But enjoy cooking, guys. You guys are going to love it. And um, make whatever you have at home. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Thank you, guys. And I hope you guys love my first episode. And please support me. Thank you. I love you, everybody. And um, I'll see you next time. I'll make something more delicious that you guys want me to make. Okay, bye. I'll see you guys later.